Hello, my blessings. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? I feel naked without earrings on. I don't know why. I'm super comfortable. I'm in the house. Today was an in-the-house day. And I've been expressing to my niece that, I guess, since the temperatures have changed, um, my skin tone has changed. And with that, my eyebrow process has needed to be changed. When I'm looking up, I'm looking in the mirror. And and this is this is up for opinion, people's opinion. I feel like now my brows all of a sudden the stuff that I've been using because I have the routine that I've always used, which was with the cold pencils from um Wet and Wild. I don't see my dark brown one. It's little, wherever it is. There we go. I think this is it. Yeah, I used to use these two cold pencils for my brows. This was what I used the most. If you hear the noise in the background, I have the window open. I love the... It's raining here. And I love the smell in the fresh air when it rains. So, if that's, what you, that's what you're hearing. But in any case, I have a lot of different things for brows. I have this new e.l.f. Um, brow pencil. It's in natural brown. Um, this pencil actually, it was in a kit that I got from Ultra, and it has a good brown on uh, pencil on there. This is a Revlon. Um, it's called Brow Fantasy. Yeah, brow fantasy and it's a brow pencil on one end and then there's a would it be considered a pomade or what are they calling it it doesn't say what it is but it's like a brow gel a tinted brow gel which it kind of dries a little I don't want to say doughy but just a flaky kind of weird like I don't like it then I have the Milani um, brow pomade, like um, dip brow. It is called Milani Stay Put Brow Color and Brunette. And what el what else do I have over here for brows? This is a very very old pencil. This is probably one of the first pencils I started doing my brows with. And this is a Wet n' Wild or is it Jordana? So little, I don't know what company. It's a Jordana. This is a Jordana pencil that came with the brush. Mind you, this pencil was this long. It was long. But I used, this was my original brow pencil. Um, what else do I have? Oh, that looks like that's pretty much it. Unless I have some stuff in my other brow flower. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, out of all of these brow products, I've been struggling figuring out which one works best for me now that my skin tone has changed. And it's been a minor struggle. Like, I've been kind of doing different things each day to see what works. So today I wanted to share with you this process with the, it's like I'm basically going to be mixing some old with some new and see if those things work. Um, I see a lot of people using, you know, these pomades or brow colors or whatever you want, brow clays. Oh, I also have brow powders. I have two of them. One is from Colormate, and then the other one is came with an Ultra kit, the same kit that this pencil came in. It's a brow powder. Um, that really haven't been working for me either. But this, I'm going to try the Milani Palmate. What I've been trying to do lately is use the darker color on the outer par portion of my brow. You know, everybody wants that gradient look in their brows. Um, 
a lot of people say use hair strokes but I don't think I have a brush that's small enough and tight enough to make hair strokes and right now you see I haven't added more product to this brush and this is this particular brush came with the Milani kit so this is a Milani brush uh, it had writing on it but I've wiped it off so I don't know what it, number it is but this came with the Milani kit um, again the problem have been I've been feeling like using my pencils have been giving me too much of a bold I guess what you what they call a bold brow a little too dark for me sometimes um, and so what I've been trying to figure out and maybe you guys can help me is finding out what's the best move for me now with my brows and I'm like when I'm coming up here to the front of my brows I'm like gently brushing this product on here because I don't want it to be as dark as the back of my brow and I might just use this product because I can come back here and press as you can see my skin moving I could press harder to get most of the product out but come up here and be very gentle maybe right here press a little harder up here just be very gentle and I believe this probably is how they plan on this product being used and I probably won't even use the pencil because I feel like it gave me a good light application in the front of my brow. I'm just going over it a little bit to darken it up because when I look in the mirror, it looks like a good gradient look. But when I look in the camera, it looks a little too light right there and you want that good fade so I think this is going to be my new brow routine I feel like the top of the brow or the front of my brow needs to be a little thicker I always, you see that mole that's right here in front of my brow? I always kind of try to start. I'm going super soft because I don't want to add too much. But it's kind of like my starting point with my brows. And honestly, sometimes I try to cover it up. Because it's a random mole. Some people think that, oh, you dotted, you, you left a dot of brow product in the front of your brows and you didn't, you know, get that off. It ain't going nowhere. It's a part of me. But in any case, yeah, this is, I think, is going to be the new routine is using this brow product. I'm just pulling the tail a little bit further. And then I'm going to brush. Brush up and out. I try to brush my brows kind of the way they grow, but I have very wild brows. So, they kind of grow every which way. This is my brows with nothing filling them in. I always try to put the top on this instead of sit with it open because you know these dry. So I'm gonna take this bigger spoolie, come across. Just to outline my brow really quick because I'm not gonna do the whole process. I just wanted to figure it out really so you guys just watched me figure out my new brow routine 
and I need you guys to give me a thumbs up and comment and tell me if you think this will work this is good enough and kind of am I gonna steer away from whoop, steer away from the pencils I hit the camera am I gonna steer away from these oh my son my son bought me a um I'm smelling because my son bought me a little stand for my uh, for when I record so my thing is sitting on the stand my son bought me which I love but anyway I'm gonna use um, LA girl oh is that upside down LA girls pro concealer and fawn I use the light fawn for underneath and I use toast for the top of my brows and because I'm just doing this video I'm not gonna do my other brow I'm, I'm didn't wear makeup today it just was not a makeup day today um, I literally have not been out my house today because I wasn't feeling too well wasn't a good feeling well today something going around and I feel like it's running up on me but but as per usual I'm gonna go up under my brow and I also found when I start my brow instead of starting from the beginning if I start from here outward for some reason I feel like I get a better line or something I don't know if that sounds weird but and I always try to instead of just squeezing the product out of the brush I always squeeze the product out of the brush onto my hand to where I can you see that little dot I did not squeeze out a lot I don't want to waste any product uh, too much product because I'm just washing this off but I like to squeeze into my hand and then put that little tiny bit on there because if you use this product you know when it squeezes out it's never direct it doesn't squeeze out to the tip of the applicator it squeezes out to the it comes out at the base of the applicator you guys can see me right yeah at the base of the applicator so I always squeeze some out onto my hand so that I can add the product to the tip of the brush because these brushes they're they're good brushes on this this concealer it actually is a pretty good brush um, I have other brushes I use too when I use concealers but it's a pretty good brush I'm going back over it and another thing about doing your brows what I've learned like see how I've, I've used a very small amount like you can still see like it's patchy basically you know when you see when it's patchy you have been a little stingy with the concealer and right now I'm being a little stingy with the concealer because I, I know I'm going to wash it off but I want I want my brows to be better like they just started just tripping I need to taper off that tail better alright so that's the bottom of my brows and then I'm going to do the same thing with the top of my brows I'm going to squeeze this out and as you see instead of it coming out to the tip of the brush it's going to come out to the base of the brush come on out I know it's some in there that was too much actually I don't need that much um, it comes out to the base of the brush I'm going to put that dot on the back of my hand and then add the product to the tip of the brush I'm starting where that little mole is Flipped it to get the product that I know is on the other side. Pull it down. Another thing I've been doing too is when I am not wearing, I've been like kind of chilling on the um, makeup as much or just going super light with makeup. 
foundation. When I say makeup, I mean like foundation. And when I do do that, but you know, your brows got to be right regardless. Um, I've been um, looking for a brush to blend this out with. I've been, um, I guess I'll use this one. Sometimes I use the, the, the concealer that I use, just use for the top of my brow. I use it for the bottom part of my brow as well because I don't need that highlighting effect um, with the makeup without me wearing foundation. I don't feel like I need that highlight effect that the lighter concealer brings. So what I'll do is I'll use the darker concealer for my whole brow. Because I don't, because the concealers, it's it's my color. It's a little. Sometimes it, the payoff is a little muddy, looking to me. But if you just blend it out well, it works. When I don't want to do a whole face of makeup, I also have some CoverGirl Queen Latifah collection um, concealer that I use when I do that as well, and that works better than this one because it's not as muddy. But when I just want to, I'm not on a makeup day, I'm not doing makeup, a whole face of makeup. But my brows has to be, you know, together. I use the dark color on the bottom and on the top. And that's my no makeup makeup day. And yeah, that's that. And I'm going to take this spoolie and kind of brush around here because I don't like the squared off boxy brow. And I please get some input what you guys think of this my all pomade no pencils just certain um, levels of adding the pomade to my brow new brow routine using just the Melania pomade which I've I have used it before but I try to mix it up and do different things but this is it it doesn't look too dark to me it has a good gradient effect. And it works. But in any case, I want this to be a quick video. I didn't expect it to be 17 minutes. But in any case, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Something fell behind me. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Love yourself, be happy, give some of that away, and do your best to be your best. It's all that's required. Talk to y'all later. See you soon.